Here's the button I want to hit. Hi, my name is Kirk Rivas with Appliance Associates. Today we're back with the Speed Queen Top Load Washer, model number TR7003WN. Today we're going to do the bulky cycle. We're going to wash two sheets. Last time we did the video, we were washing four sheets. They're, they're a synthetic blend, so it was creating a lot of air bubbles, uh, or uh, it was trapping air. So it, it, to me, it didn't wash very well. It, was, it didn't submerge like it should. It's kind of like washing a plastic uh, covering or something. So I didn't, I didn't like the way it washed. So we're going to try some different sheets. These are softer. They feel more like cotton. So first thing we're, we're going to do is going to power this up and see if I can zoom in to the control panel a little bit better. Right there. Get, get the focus. I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on. So let me go ahead and hit macro. There we go. All right, so we're so we're still in the bulky cycle. So we're bulky, and we're going to select warm, warm, so it can uh, fill up faster and rinse faster. And load size, we're going to leave that to auto. And we have different options here. So we got max uh, for soil, light 31. And let's just go ahead and do light. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, hopefully it saturates, saturates well enough. If not, we might have a dud video. So this time we're going to have the signal on. So we'll hear it when it turns off. So let's go ahead and get this loaded. Open this. Okay, there. Right about there. So, I don't know, maybe these, these will float too, I don't know. They're just two sheets. Plenty of room. Okay, and we're going to hit start. This guy might fall and he's barely hanging on. So if he falls in, it'll be kind of fun to watch him fall. But he's right at the edge.
So we did select bulk recycle, and you're going to kind of wonder if, when you automatically select bulk recycle, if it's going to start filling up to the highest level. Um, there we go. We're test it's testing it right now. So. Windows 8.1 8 Pro, what's going on? Thanks for showing up. Hey Robert, what's up man? noise right there is a piece of tape. Let's get this out of here. Okay. Yeah, Robert, that's going to be interesting. So Robert said that he, he can't wait to see what my wife thinks of it. And uh, the goal is that she doesn't th think anything of it, you know, that she doesn't miss a beat. So, um, you know, if she says everything's fine or, you know, the clothes are coming out the same, or, or hopefully she doesn't say anything. Um, and if, that's a, if, if she doesn't say anything, no news is good news. That's what I think. I think Robert, I mean, so Robert, he had the TC, no, he had the TR5 for a while, and then Robert uh, switched to the TC5, and I think he sold his TC5, no, he sold his TR5, kept the TC. Um, but he couldn't decide between the two, uh, so what I tell my customers is that, you know, if you're undecided, you know, get the TC, because it's not going to be around forever so we know that the future with speed queen is going to be the tr series and they're going to develop that model the tc probably won't be uh, in the future it probably won't meet the regulations needed or required uh, to be sold in residential setting so you know get the tc while you can and then because maybe a year or two from now you're not you won't be able to buy it so i think you did a good a good thing uh, robert you know keep, you know you, you know, stick with the tc and then uh, eventually, uh, when they when the TC is gone, hopefully the TR series TR series will be developed 
well enough to where it'd be an easy transition. So I really dig the way this thing's washing right now with the two sheets, different material. The, the, the other sheets we were using seemed more synthetic uh, and wasn't even when they were wet, they didn't seem very pliable. Um, so, and I don't know how many of y'all have that type of material. Um, I, I like these sheets a lot better. To me, these, these will feel better. They feel cooler. Um, but maybe the other ones are more durable. I don't know. Right now, we're doing some service on a, a dryer that belongs to the fire department. And uh, so I take care of those guys. Those guys take care of me. So, um, you know, I told them just, you know, I sold it. I think I sold it to them. It was like a used dryer. I don't even think I saw it. I think I let them have it. And then so they brought it back today after a couple of years saying it's uh, not heating. So we fixed the wiring. But they left their laundry in the dryer. Um, and so this is, this is the material right here. Whoops. And this is that synthetic stuff, you know. Like this would be kind of hard to wash if it gets wet because it's very plasticky. I think it'll, if it forms bubbles, it's not going to sink. So I don't, I don't. This doesn't even feel good against my skin. I don't like it. Maybe I'll wash this next. I was going to mix it together, but this is different material. Uh, it wouldn't. And plus, it might turn my other sheets blue. That was fast. Yeah, I know. Hey, Robert, I noticed you've been, you've been saying that that the TC produces more lint. And it has to be that it's more aggressive, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's uh, proof that it's washing or scrubbing better. The crab is moving quite a bit. It's going to fall in, guys. There it goes. Hey, what's up, Dylan?
Man, Robert, I surely hope I get a chance to take that TR series home this weekend. I just have to um, get motivated. It is uh, kind of difficult to kind of, you know, wiggle, wiggle your way through the house and get to the laundry room. It, it's just, uh, it's a pain. You know, I'll, I only do it if I have to, uh, not because I want to type of thing. So I really have to be motivated to do the job. So, uh, but I, you know, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. Hopefully by Monday I'll have the TR series in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the TC somewhere in the back. I don't know where I'm gonna put the TC. I might have to make some room, room in the garage. I don't wanna bring it back here because somebody will probably buy it. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, get the crab out. I'm just gonna put this, uh, I'm gonna close the camera just a second so you don't see me do what I'm about to do. Okay, there you go. He's holding on right here. Right. We'll just put him right there. Hey, thanks, Timmy Camps. Appreciate that. Yeah, Robert, I agree. You know, no matter how unusual this washer is, I mean, it's still one of my favorite washers because I know it's going to be consistent. I know it's not going to break down. Um, and, you know, consistent, what I mean is it's not going to reset itself. And, uh, fill back up with water over and over again just to do one load of laundry. Um, I think it has potential. Um, that, you know, I would, I, it'd be a, a, a high pick uh, compared to your mainstream washers and dryers out there on the market. Uh, even, you know, uh, I don't want to say other names, but it's still one of my better picks, I guess, compared, definitely compared to most of the wash plate washers. Yeah. Yeah. I wish steel, I don't know, I, I wish that the cost of steel was it's cheaper than plastic if it is I mean if, it, if it's cheaper then maybe they'll go back to building more stuff out of steel I don't know GG what's going on Yeah, these sheets are going on my bed tonight. <laughs> oh, 
my wife called me at work. She goes, did you have an accident in the bed, Kirk? Because where are the sheets? I'm like, uh, I, well, I have to do an experiment at, at, at work. So uh, it was kind of funny. What's going on, Carlos? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back up to the front. Um, i got to do a backup, computer backup. Uh, there's about 11 minutes left on this uh, cycle. So I'm going to uh, do a uh, little bit of desk work, and I'll be right back.
Yeah, so the spin speed, I, I think on bulky, is going to be um, not as fast. So we can compare that later uh, with a heavy duty cycle. But there's the buzzer. Okay, so um, this guy's okay. He's all right. Uh, on bulky cycle, I think it doesn't spin as fast, but somebody can probably look that up and get those numbers. Um, but to me, everything kind of feels fine. I don't see... Uh, I wish it would spin a little bit faster because they do feel a little heavy, but these are cotton, so they're going to absorb a lot of water. But you can't really wring anything out. I mean, there's you, you can't twist any more water out of this. I think it did okay. So I'm going to put these back in this bag over here, and take them home, put them in the dryer. goes back on the bed, and I'll go back to sleep. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate 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 every each and every one of you. Um, we'll do some more videos of this one possibly, but there's two washers outside I want to get to. One of them is the um, it's like I think it's a, like a Maytech Performa wash machine. Uh, it does not have the dual action agitator; it has a straight vein agitator. I think somebody from yesterday during the live stream wanted to. Um, they asked if I had that washer and if I did have if I could film it and I'd probably never see one you know I, I, I don't know I, it's, it just showed up today so I'll see, I'll see if it works tomorrow and then try to film it and then the other washer that we got in that was a Holloway was a GE top load washer like HE design that has the it looks like a regular agitator but it's cut in half it's kind of flat on, on flat on top and maybe it has like some kind of a dispenser right there I forgot what you put in it but it's a GE, and it looks like they were trying to get into the HE models. Uh, that was their first attempt, it looks like. Um, kind of funky looking. We sold some. I never heard any bad things about it, but uh, it looks kind of weird. Like It looks like an afterthought. But uh, anyway, we'll get to those later. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.